Lyneth Mann Lewis describes the moment she reunited with her son Jermaine 31 years after he was abducted as a toddler. I grabbed him and I squeezed his head. I want to feel if he's real. I touched him. I said, oh my God, my baby. Her now 33-year-old son's reaction? He was, oh, he looked, oh, mommy, you have my eyes. And he hugged me and he kissed. You have my eyes. He hugged me and he kissed me. And we held there for a long time. Police say Alan Mann abducted his 21-month-old son during a court-ordered visit in 1987 and headed to the U.S. to live under assumed names. Where they lived basically a, a life of lies as to who they were and what they did. Unbeknownst to Jermaine, he was under the impression that his mother had died shortly after birth. And I sat there and I waited for her. For three uh -huh. decades, Man Lewis uh, worked with the Missing Children's Society was, trying yeah. to find her son. Because, uh, Lineth and her family have been a tower of strength and perseverance. Canadian police want to extradite 66-year-old Alan Mann on an abduction charge. Man Lewis learned about the break in the case on Friday. Words couldn't express what I felt. The words... Your son is alive. We've found him. That is breathtaking. She flew to Connecticut over the weekend to visit her son who has asked for privacy. She says afterwards her son had trouble saying goodbye. When he went to the, ele the elevator, he pressed the button. He went and he hid like this. Then he come back and he looked. <laughs> I said, okay, baby, I love you, bye-bye. And then I thought he left, so I still stood there. Then I see him come back a little bit more, and he's shaking. I said, baby, come on, go, it's getting late. He said, okay, mommy, and then he left. Man, Lewis says she hopes the weekend visit is the first of many to get to know her son and fill in the years stolen from both of them. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.